Welcome to the Chateau de Lalande, a 16th century chateau in the heart of France. Join us each day of Advent as we get this 19 bedroom home ready for Christmas. We'll be cooking, decorating and discovering Christmas traditions from all over the world. Welcome to Christmas at Lalande. Today we are in the room that we like to call Pea Cocktail Corner. Yes. And we're going to be decorating it for Christmas. This is the study at the end of the enfilade. It's the very last room in the row of formal rooms that form the main part of the chateau. Mm -hmm. And this room has a little cocktail area which is currently in a mess <laughs> and we're going to set up a tree here and it's called pea cocktail corner because obviously it is the cocktail corner but also we use a lot of peacock themes here because we have peacocks at the chateau <laughs> right let's get it decorated. all right we're going to use a tree that we bought last year which is a fake tree mm -hmm. because there's so many trees in the rooms of the chateau i don't want to cut down an entire forest every <laughs> christmas so i have a couple of real trees every year um this but, had a little accident had like it had a Christmas accident. Yeah, right. so Christmas breakdown. It might be hard to put it together again. It's a bit <laughs> <laughs> at the top. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's not because it's a little bit wonky that we don't still love it. <laughs> I'll start putting it together. If you want to get my absolute genius of a carpenter cousin and see if he can help us. Do you know how to put it together? Um. How hard can it be? <laughs> Seriously. It's... Have you watched last year's video? Put <laughs> one thing into another thing and attach them to... I'll be fine. Wheel the cocktail trolley along. Sure. Whee! You don't think it's too hard because any of the porcelain in the okay. Um. Then I need to get a tea strainer out. I just saw there's a really pretty yes. tea strainer that I definitely need. I won't be able to Ooh. live without the little look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Can't live without it for the whole of the Advent okay. season. Do you actually have a nice silver tea strainer? Because um, the ones in the kitchen are a bit... No, I haven't got a lovely silver one. But Why not? Uh, Philip, have you not because, got one? Because I've got a lovely porcelain one. I know you have a real it's collection the most of them, Michael. It's the most important thing in any tea set is a, is a tea strainer, right? That's the one that I, I And I've got a beautiful one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. This is it. This is the moment. Oh, it's... Uh, See, now that was not hard. No. I can't believe there was doubt that I would be able to do this. It's a bit big for this area, isn't it? Yes. My view about Christmas, Michael, is that more is more. Oh, look at your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. That's not too big, is it? No, not at all. It's perfect. Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Need some help? Oh, no. Look. Oh, you you just did, you, yeah, you sorted it. Perfect Christmas, up. and it's already got the lights on. Let's see if they work. Oh, actually, we can't we can't plug the last bit in yet. This is the bit that sadly broke. Right, look, that's it. That's how straight it gets. Why did it break? Let me have a look at it. We were trying to carry a fully decorated one from one room to another. You're joking. And it oh. snapped. There, you see, it's sheared so it doesn't fit into itself. Oh, we can fix that, don't worry. You we'll drill so? it out, yeah. I, I think I can hear the dream team arrive, yes. <laughs> We've got a Christmas emergency, Amory. Oh, no. Yeah, you're Christmas, needed. Christmas is ruined. Yeah, let's drill it. <laughs> tap it. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what any of those things mean, but yes, <laughs> let's do that. Let's drill it and tap it. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Bit of Christmas drilling and tapping. Okay. Okay, so as you're the swanky tea maker who owns all of the silver tea strainers in France, why don't you make us some tea? Just three, only three. Oh, just three. So I've got one English one um, and two French ones. Let's get the spode out. He's busting out the spode. He means business. This is making you feel at home, isn't it? You have exactly the same tea set at home. I have bought with me a tin of Fortnum & Mason's Christmas black tea. Because obviously you cannot decorate a Christmas tree without it. Of course not. And it's got um, what is black tea and it contains uh, cocoa nibs, cloves, Safflower, um, orange, ginger, clementine, and chocolate. This sounds like exactly what I need right now. Perfect. Right, so we're going to, kettle's boiled. Uh, we need to, of course, warm the pot. Otherwise, when you put your hot boiling water into a freezing cold teapot, it's no longer 100 degrees Celsius and your tea doesn't brew properly. Oh yes, the English are very particular. We like the water hitting our tea leaves as hot as yes, possible. I might just re-boil that. <laughs> So it's uh, but it doesn't release all of the flavours. 
With a green tea, you want it slightly cooler, maybe yeah. 85 to 90, but with mm. black tea, boiling. It's boom. As hot as you can get. Just boom. Good to scold it. Okay, I'm gonna go and check on Philip and the poor little tree. How's our tiny little tree that could come uh, along? I mean, it's still um, decapitated. <laughs> <laughs> well, at worst case scenario, we'll use it like that. Sure. I like the frosted tips. It's a bit retro. How history. very 2000s of you. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cuz. Let me just see if it fits first. Okay. Sharp oh, little body. thing at the top. There you go. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, it's still not wobbly though. Well, well that's, we can have a wobbly tree. That's okay. Better than oh, last year. Oh, my cousin, you're a genius. You saved Christmas. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, let's uh, plug this baby in and see if the lights work. This is the moment of truth. Hey. Yes! Yes! So I actually really like to decorate the tree with the lights on. I know some people like to do it and then turn them on for a big reveal. But if the lights are on, you can see the effect of exactly everything you're placing and make sure that little twinkling lights go onto the right reflections. So I think we'll leave it on. Now, where's that tea, Michael? It's just brewing. <laughs> Is this how you always wait for your tea to brew? Yes, of course. A master, an Englishman, always wear a top hat whilst a waiting for the tea. English gentleman should always wear a top hat while he's waiting for his tea. Actually, we're indoors, so I should take it off. <laughs> uh, is this Dan? Yes, look, he's got a moustache. Oh, we oh. can remove it now. Oh, November's oh. over. <laughs> <laughs> Philip is shifting everything along so that we can get this tree more into the corner so we have more yeah. light exactly. will look better yeah yeah and i hear a lot of squeaking what is it afternoon dears <laughs> anything from the trolley <laughs> yes yes 100 percent. something oh, from I'll the trolley after all that hard work <laughs> well i've got christmas tea milk We've got some Christmas biscuits. Ooh. Ooh. Get, so, get oh, look at those up. homemade Christmas biscuits. Didn't we do well? <laughs> look at, I love the way we individually wrap them. That took ah, ages. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Shall I be mother? Oh, yes, please, please, sir. And I'm going to use the finest silverware. <laughs> <laughs> my this, is all my, this is all you've got. Look, no, I haven't. Why can't we use my pretty one? You're upset because it doesn't match. Doesn't match the blue and white, no. Fine, fine, use the stainless steel one. I would expect you to have brought, uh, uh, at least a nice silver plated uh. one by now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the only silver plated object you haven't bought yet, I Yeah, think. that's true. Also, I don't drink, really drink tea. I sometimes do. So yeah, it's pretty it's rare. It's very far down my list. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> for hosting, it's essential. Uh, yeah. Look at this. When one has a hostess trolley, one must have a silver tea strainer. <laughs> Up in the attic of the chateau, I keep lots and lots of wardrobes in the area that we call Narnia and this is where we store everything. This is where I keep all of the Christmas decorations and here we have Peacock Tail Corner. So I'm going to grab those and take them downstairs. I have a little scrap of golden fabric that I'm going to use to hide the base of our tree. Whee! Perfect. Now I'm going to start putting the base baubles on. So what I call the base baubles are the main ones that bring all the colours together. In this case, we have lots and lots of purple baubles. There they are. The problem with them was that as I was bringing them downstairs, there was a hole in. So there are now purple baubles all the way along the corridor and up to the attic. Okay, I'm going to put the smaller ones towards the top, yes. the bigger ones towards the bottom and evenly space them. And then we can start putting the really fun ones in between. You think that's, that that is a given, but I've met lots of people who have tried to decorate Christmas trees with, who just do yeah, whatever. Yeah, the big ones at the yeah. top and the little What's ones that about? The I think you can have some little ones interspersed at the bottom and the odd big one interspersed mm -hmm. at the top, but generally I think it should follow the shape of the tree. That looks better proportionally, right? Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> the base baubles are on, so our tree is now purple. So now we have one of the really fun ones, beautiful purple one with peacock designs. This was a gift. And I think there's something really cocktail bar about mm. the color purple. I don't know why that is, but it just feels right for the cocktail corner of the chateau. So we're gonna keep peacock tail corner tree will always be purple. Always? I think so. You know how I changed my mind. Yes, exactly. I think so. At the moment, that's how I'm feeling. There we go. We've got another one like this, I think, as well. Have we? Oh, there might be. I think I saw another one. I think almost oh, all the beautiful. bubbles and decorations for this tree have been sent as gifts. Yeah, almost everything on this tree, which is incredible. Look, look at this. We have amazing things. And I think it's this is... Yes. Ah, perfect. Right, there's another one. 
These are so beautiful. These are the ones that I really they like. They are beautiful. And look at this like glamorous. That's the one that I bought design. last year. You bought it. Yeah. yeah, it's so Art Deco. And these I think will bring in the red curtains of this room and yes. stick in the peacock tree. These are really important. Perfect. I've got so many things of little bits. Do you remember we put tiny bits yes. of tinsel on last year? Maybe keep that for a different tree. Uh, could do. Yeah, see how it's going. We'll put mm -hmm. the main ones on. Oh, that one's man. very chic. Feathers. I love all of them. What's in this box? Those might be the hearts. No. Oh, peacock. Oh. Actual peacocks. Let Christmas be gin. My, my, my favorite <laughs> is 100% festive spirit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get these on. Christmas pigeon. Look what I found. These were sent as a gift and they are so beautiful. They are hand-painted miniatures of Russian fairy tales. Oh, that's stunning. And I've also found these that you bought last year. Ah, uh, yes, I did. You fell in love with Skiing Squirrel. Yes. But I'm thinking this year, we'll put them on the tree. They're just hollow. And I'm going to put one chocolate in every single one. These are so interesting. They look like dip dye. Uh, glass. They're actually Murano glass. I bought them in okay. Venice. Yeah, I've got two. I put one on already. Oh, yeah. There. They're beautiful. This is coming on so nicely. It looks beautiful. Yeah, it does. It does. It, it looks like a department store. It does look like a department <laughs> store. Uh, it's a bit wonky still at the top, but it gives it character. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Uh, so I've... that worked well, and it's complete. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, Should I try and fix it? <laughs> Natty, stop laughing. I think it needs a taller person to. Yeah, that was the issue. This. That is the issue. That is exactly the issue. If I'd taller, that would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. How about we just frame our something like? We <laughs> thought it would be so easy. <laughs> and then no one touch it or look at it. <laughs> Okay, I think we need to walk away and fix it this evening. Mm. We're nearly there. Good point, yeah. Let's just let the tree get accustomed. Let it settle. Yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. It's dark outside and now it's time for the fun bit. I'm taking wrapped chocolates and putting them inside the little skiing squirrels. And I'm sure that by Christmas Day, there will not be a single chocolate left on this tree. And I have lots of liqueur chocolates like this. And each one of these is going on one of these little baskets and onto the tree. So it truly is a cocktail tree because you can come and have a little sneaky cocktail on the tree whenever you feel like it. Now I just need to hang them onto the tree. But this isn't the final touch. There's a couple more things to be added still. This is a bit I've been looking forward to all this time. We've got the tree. <laughs> Have you seen I the mean, top bit? The peak, honestly, Philip. I can't I quite... don't know what you were thinking. Well, I can't quite tell if the peak is, um, like... Wonky, or if the shutter is wonky? Uh, uh, really hard to tell. What I think has happened is that the trees had one too many cocktails. Yes! So <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Should we just leave it like that? I think Honestly. Really should. It's quite funny. But it's like a walk one of shame. Finishing touch, which is that we have received beautiful advent calendars from people and so obviously we've opened the first couple of days and you'll see that on Caddo at the Chateau but the rest of the gifts are going to live under this tree because if we put them under the main tree in the winter salon we'll have them with all of the gifts that can only be open on Christmas day and it'll take ages to find them but we know that everything under here is for an advent calendar so we can look for the right numbers each day how is this one advent calendar gift whoa what which day is that? Okay, that's what's going to be my first question as well. Twelve. Ooh. It's going to be a very excellent Twelve is a good day. Look at, look at the colours. I mean, wow. This I love it. This is another thing I wanted to say, which is that most of these decorations were sent by completely different people for Pea Cocktail Corner. And we could not have planned it better ourselves if we'd gone out and bought them all in one go for the tree. So thank you everybody who sent decorations for this tree. You collectively, without planning it, have created a thing of absolute beauty. I'm just going to get on with putting all of these underneath. So exciting. 
it is super late at night. Philip and I are the only two still up, but we've done it. We've set everything up. I love the tree so much. Drunken peacock tail corner tree. And I love these little lights. These lights just tiny strings of light. The top looks like a bottle stopper and then you can switch them on and off like that up at the top. And then any old bottles can be made into decorations like this. So, so pretty. I've put all of the advent presents underneath. Do you have any idea how hard it is not to rip all of these open? It's really exciting and we can take it in turns in the house to open them. I think this shows that whatever it is that you enjoy in life, it is good to designate an area in your home to little pleasures. Now you may enjoy cocktails or virgin cocktails or you might love chocolates, in which case you could have a little area with perfect chocolates and just take one every day. But something that makes you feel glamorous and warm and fuzzy and that you can decorate for Christmas is a really good idea. Here we love Pea Cocktail Corner and we love our drunken peacock tail tree. Good night to all of you. I'll see you again tomorrow for a lot more decorating here at the Chateau. And until then, lots of love from Lalande and cheers.